the Avante fashion shop. Uh, no, no, no. Avante is dead, Crystal. Killed. Muerto. As in post-cutbacks. No fluffy fashion show story for you. Are you catching my drift here? Everybody who's anybody is going to be there, Harry. I think it's a major dirt. Why don't you take little Fido and go back to Italy? Find yourself another count. Stay out of our lives. <laughs> I'm right here, bro. You're gonna be just fine, okay? Just hang in there. You hear me, Bobby? Your father always was fair game for women who make a career out of soulful vulnerability. Well, that leaves you out, Mother. I'll find my window of opportunity. That may be easier than you think. Is she cheating on him? So goes the rumor about the castle. Oh, fact or fiction? Come on, Mother. Does it really matter? No. But I am mildly curious. Oh, <laughs> I think you want it to be true so that you can rub Martin's face in it. Not that I blame you. He did pass you over for the trophy wife. Oh, sorry. Everyone makes mistakes. Hopefully Anne will too. Soon. And Martin is blithely unaware of everything, naturally. Naturally. Of course, it is only a rumor. He is a trusting sort. Except when it comes to me. The only question is, why would Anne risk losing everything? Hmm. True love? <laughs> 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 but you're right. That's it. It has to be. Only Anne is stupid enough <laughs> to, to give up everything. <laughs> I could make some discreet inquiries. Good. I told you Catherine would show up today. I can't deal with her right now. Martin, that woman is hell-bent on making trouble for us. I don't care. Your ex-wife practically threatened me. Anne! You're just going to have to deal with Catherine. Martin... All I care about right now is finding out what happened to Bobby and Lucas. Trouble in Paradise, the case of the missing twins. Now, where are the heirs apparent? I'm right here, Bobby. Hang in there. Lucas. Listen to me. Ah! He's arresting. What's happening? Wait, where are you taking him? Stay back, man. Martin? I have been looking all over for you. Trebley has this absurd notion that I should be staying in the guest house. Martin, what is it? It's Bobby. Macy said he was with Lucas. No. No, something's wrong. Something's wrong, I can feel it.
Mamma, jag måste prata med dig nu. Did something happen to my father? Nana, tell me. No. No, mi amor. Roberto is well. He's very well. But Jimmy Ray said that... It... Jimmy Ray, why did you scare her? All I said was you wanted to talk to her. About my father. See, it is. But it's wonderful news. Roberto is getting out of prison. When? This Friday. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. Isn't that great? Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, it's great, it's great. How did this happen? Well, this new appeals judge, he finally accepted the evidence. Which proved that your father is innocent. I knew it! Yeah, that's, that's, it's great. It really is. I can't believe it. It's been so long. I miss him so much. Oh, I know. A young woman needs to have her father. Roberto will bring this family together again. Yeah. Everybody's gonna have a few scores to settle when he gets back, too. We can be prata tomorrow. No, I want to take it now. Det är ju sent och jag är dödstrött. Ja, var har du varit någonstans? Pappa ringde upp jättelänge sedan och ville att du skulle tala om för det att han står på labbet ikväll. Jag gick ut åt och sen var jag på bio. Ensam? Ja. Du har inte berättat för honom om Miami, eller hur? Jo, jag nämnde det. Varför vill inte du att jag ska vara lycklig? Ja, men det är för klart att jag vill. Kan du sluta kontrollera mig då? Därför att du kanske är nöjd med ditt liv, men jag är inte det. Men du blev inte lyckligare av att fly till Miami. Du känner inte mig överhuvudtaget. Jag har drömmar, mamma. Ja, dyra drömmar. Okej, okay. sätt igång och spara då. Så kan du åka. Det kommer ta evigheter. Men du kan inte förvänta dig att allt ska serveras på en silverbricka. Men livet funkar inte på det sättet. Du, allt jag behöver är bara lite grann till att börja med. Lite hjälp. Du och pappa, ni... Ja, men jag och pappa tycker inte att du ska åka. Du måste ju börja ta lite ansvar. Det här handlar inte om pengar, eller hur? Det här handlar om att du alltid ska bestämma. Det är inte sant. Jag förstår pappa. Jag fattar för att han vill sova där istället för här med dig. Jag tycker vi avslutar det här samtalet nu. Innan vi gör varandra ledsna. Vem som gör mig ledsen? Det du är min mamma. No word yet? Nothing. I'm worried, Antonio. Martin, we must start. I think Tony's right. You can keep your cell phone on. Just turn the ringer off. That way when Bobby calls yeah, you... If he calls. All right, all right. Go make the announcement. I'm sure they're all right. Ladies and gentlemen, We are proud to present the latest collection from Antonio Avanti. Hello, Sage Devon. Hi, Lucas. Lucas, I can I can hardly hear you. Look, look, just tell uh, Macy I'm on my way to the Avanti show. Your what? Your where? What? The hospital? Oh my God! Is is he? No, Lucas. Look, you just stay there with Bobby, and I'll, I'll tell Martin. Okay? L Lucas, hang. Lucas, hang in there. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. Could somebody please tell me what's happening with my brother? It's Bobby Devon. He's still in the OR, Mr. Devon. There's a coffee machine in the back. Mm -hmm. Thanks.
mean to upset you before. No, you didn't. I'm just really happy my father's coming home. You're happy about it too, right? Yeah, sure. Roberto's been really good to me, you know. He's put a lot of trust in me with the club and looking out for you. You've been a really great friend, Jimmy Ray. You know, this, this was made for you. Soft, delicate, real classy. It's really beautiful. You should have seen Lindy's eyes pop. <laughs> it's much too nice. Oh, not for you, Elena. Jimmy Ray, can I ask you something? Yeah, anything. What did you mean when you said my father had some scores to settle? Oh, it's nothing. It's just business stuff. Forget about it. Jimmy Ray, I'm not a kid. Listen, Elena, Roberto was locked up for five years for something he did not do. Yes, I know. Well, that just doesn't happen. Rotten in Denmark. The Devons all just split from their own show and they did not look happy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's up, okay? Hold that headline. All right, bye. We'll be there within the hour. Just keep us informed. Bobby's out of surgery, but he has massive internal injuries, kidney, liver, and uh, I'm afraid the next few hours are really touch and go. Give me that. What are you doing? I'm getting the best damn internist I can. Bunch. Making them salivate over a wild summer, no doubt. Hey, hey, what can I say? They missed me. <laughs> Those poor pathetic dudes, they have no recourse but to live vicariously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really good to see you, Lindy. It's good to see you, too. You. <laughs> so, so, um. You first. <laughs> Yeah. So I've heard you've been keeping really busy. You know. Oh, that's great. I mean, I haven't heard of any girl has much going on as you do. Uh, the modeling career, that's in high gear, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty hot right now. Oh, that's awesome. Really, that's just, that's just great. 
And you gotta keep that momentum going, you know? You gotta keep that, that focus strong. Well, yeah. And you know, we have pretty hardcore schedules coming up this year, you know? That's why I think that, that, um, you know, that. What? Maybe we should stay single this year. Don't you? Hey, where's the funeral? Bobby. I'm not glad to hear your voice. I have to tell you. Before it's too late. Oh man, you're gonna make it. You're gonna be just fine. Don't think so. Yeah, you are. <laughs> we're gonna go on that fishing trip we're always talking about. Would have liked to see that. You. Damn bitch. You will. Just don't you give up on me, Bobby. Devin. Bobby Devin. CCU Rule 30. Miss, did anybody check my brother Lucas's blood alcohol level? I don't think so. No. Crystal Tate, Miami Sun? I have no comment at this time. Um, how is Bobby? Is he gonna make it? Wasn't your other brother Lucas driving the car? I, I couldn't help overhearing you. You asked the nurse about a blood alcohol test. Do you think maybe he was driving under the influence? Do you think that's what caused the accident? No. Dirty dog, I hope you held that headline. I got a doozy. <laughs> Don't you die on me, Bobby. Don't you do it. Don't leave me. I have to tell you. Now. Again, damn it. You and me, you hear me? Next weekend, you, me, fish, come back. Catch one more. Bobby? 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 right through you, Anne. Catherine, the only thing you see is your own reflection. It is only a matter of time before Martin finds out all about your dirty little secrets. Your pocket full of escal. 
Nu åker vi. Du ska inte följa med till Miami, Nora. Barbie's gone. The light is gone. And so help me God if I find out you had anything to do with it. You'll wish it was your body on that slab in the morgue and not your brother's.